So what's happening with Helene right now? Winds at 65 miles per hour. So it's a strong tropical storm likely to become a hurricane a bit later on today and then potentially a, a, a major hurricane before it makes landfall here on the Gulf Coast of Florida, right there in the Big Bend and then moving up through Georgia and taking a left turn over parts of Tennessee. That means a little less rain for us in our part of North Carolina, but it also means some extremely heavy rainfall in the mountains. Meteorologist Chris Michaels here to talk more about why it's going to be so focused there. It's uh, all because of that storm path, right? In the storm center that you were just tracking and especially that left turn and that tug to the west is really what's going to create a lot of that intense rain over the mountains. You see that wind coming in from the southeast. It'll be strong and it'll be rising up the mountains. And as the air rises more quickly, the clouds get deeper. They carry more rain and there's nowhere for it to go but down onto areas like Asheville and Greenville. This is an area where we see a rare extreme risk of flooding over the course of the next few days. This unfortunately is responsible for 40% of flood related fatalities and 83% of flood related damages. So this could very well be a damaging storm for the mountains of North Carolina. And as again, Elizabeth was showing, you see 10 to 15 inches are possible in areas around Asheville, but this far inland, rain totals are a little bit lesser. That said, there have been a lot of questions about this storm and really any storm that comes through. I've got an extensive Q&A right now on WRAL.com to help answer all your questions because, Elizabeth, it's not just the rain we're tracking, but some other impacts too. And we can see one to three inches of rain between Thursday and Friday, and then it looks like it might begin to ease up a little bit late Friday afternoon, Friday evening. We'll see some windy conditions though. Gusts 30 to 35 with some isolated 45 mile per hour gusts. And isolated tornadoes are always a possibility with a landfalling system like this.